Hi guys, welcome to DuckTrack's tutorial. Today we are going to talk about how to use Adobe Firefly. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now let's dive right in. So let's begin with opening a web browser and you simply type in or go to firefly.adobe.com and you just simply need to sign in with your Adobe account. Once you have signed in, you can Go to the gallery so that you'll be able to browse to different images that you can create here using Adobe Firefly. So here they have text to image, they have the generative fill feature, the text effects, and the generative recolor that you can try out so that you'll be able to create stunning images. So the good thing here with Adobe Firefly is that you can definitely try out these features using your web browser account or web browser and using your Adobe account rather. So what you can do is you can actually use these examples or pictures at the gallery and you can try the prompt that they, if you like a specific image and if you want to try it out, you can click on try prompt that's usually at the lower corner of the image lower right corner of the image. So here you can uh, modify the prompt. You can modify it as well on the left side panel of the screen, the aspect ratio, whether it's square, portrait, or white shot, or landscape. You can definitely use that. And there is also different types of image that you can choose here, whether it's a digital image, you have photo, you have art, or graphic depending on what you would like to use you can also modify as well the color the lighting and also the uh, how the camera is positioned that's in under composition so here I actually just added a dahlia or a change the flower specifically for a dahlia flower and here you'll be able to see that these images are very similar to the first image that we chose from the gallery. And you can actually modify here as well in the content type, whether you want it artistic or graphic, or you just want it to be a photo-like image. Here, when you hover on the generated image, you can actually create similar images. You can also download or you can also hit the like button or the heart icon so that you will have this image on your likes or favorites. So here you can modify as well the uh, different type of styles that you can incorporate. And as I mentioned earlier, there's different light things that you can choose from and also the tone or the color of the image. Here under composition, this is a whether you want to close up a blur background or you want a wide angle shot, you can definitely choose from the options being provided here. So once you're done with setting up the image settings, you can definitely click on generate and it will provide you another image or another set of image that is very much better than the first image that were generated. So here, you can click on download or like, as I mentioned earlier, those are the buttons that you will click on. There is also on the other side of the corner, you can click on the uh, generate similar images and it will provide you images that are general or that are very similar to what was generated. So here you can look into different images and we'll go back to the home page and we will try the next feature here which is the generative fill feature. So you can download or up, um, download the image that you have or you can just use the sample image that is here on Adobe Firefly that you can try out. So what you can do here is that you can actually use this add tool this will remove the certain part of the image and then you can just add or type the prompt on what are the things that you'd like to add or modify on the image. So let's say I'll be adding ice blocks. 
and it will provide us four different images for you to choose from as well. Here. But I'm not very satisfied with the images that were generated. I can click on cancel and then I will just remove the background image instead. So you can click on this background image and then it will automatically remove the background for you. So you can type in on what type of background you want to incorporate here. So let's say you want the northern lights. You can type in northern lights here and then just type in generate and it will provide you the northern lights as well as the ocean as well which is reflecting the color or the northern lights as well so here you can see that there it still remains or it still has the ocean here you can see so you can just choose from what type of image that were generated that you'd like to keep i'd like the fourth one here and just click on keep here the blue button and once you're done you can definitely add other images as well you just click on the add button and then you can just place that here so let's say we will be adding an, a mermaid on this part of the stone so you can add a mermaid and then when we click on generate it will provide us images it may not be a perfect mermaid here um, there's some distortion on what the image would look like but i think the fourth one is the best but we can try to generate that or remove that instead and that's basically it. That's you can download the image here that's on the upper right corner of the screen and you can start generating images just by using this generative fill feature to modify or edit the background or even the clothes of that specific model that you have. So next that we will talk about here is text effects. So it will allow you to create um, effects on the text that you will be creating. So you can click on try prompt and you can see here that on this left side here, you, this is where you'll be modifying the words. So for example, you want to change Firefly to another word. And then on the right side panel, you, this is where you will be changing the what type of effect you'd like the Adobe Firefly to generate for you. So I changed the word to butter. And then I will be modifying as well the um, prompt here. So we will be using yellow dripping color. So you have here, more looks like honey. So you can definitely just click and generate and we'll provide you four different variations. They may not be that um identical or they may not be that different to each other but there's only a few differences that you can look into so here on the right side panel of the screen you'll be able to see that there are sample prompts that you can try out as well and here on the text effects um, you can modify whether it's a tight it's a loose or a medium or you have the loose style as well you can change the color as well of the background right at the bottom and you can also change the font as well if you want. So here what I actually use will be the pink balloon effect and we just changed the word to birthday. These are actually one of the designs that I'd like here since these are very helpful especially if you want to create an image that is for a birthday or invitation or just for your banner it's very realistic that you may start to think that it's like it's been shot from the real birthday party so it's a really good thing here it's really giving you the effect that you'd like from holographic to even butter designs 
anything that you may think of, even furry texture, they can generate that here for you. So once you're done, you can see here that there's a like icon or the heart icon that you can choose from. And that would be added into your likes into the account. So the last thing that we'll tackle about here is generative recolor. So this is allowing you to um, create color variations into your vector works. And instead of uploading our own SVG files, since this is strictly only for SVG files, so that you will be able to create color variations, we will just use the samples images that is being provided here by Adobe Firefly. So I just click on try prompt and then it will generate four images for me. And what I can do here is I can actually look into the right side panel of the screen and you'll be able to see that there are different sample prompts that you can choose so that changing or modifying the colors would become in handy. So you can just wait for this to load. This may take a while. So there's a lot of different variations that you can look into here. Just wait for them. To take a while. So if ever you encounter the same process here where it takes a while, you can actually refresh your Adobe Firefly so that your images will be generated. So here you can try Salmon Sushi, trying out the sample prompts. Or if not, you can actually try to type in the prompt as well. So if you want to modify a specific color, you can definitely use that as well. So here you can see that I'm shuffling the colors on the color palette. It actually has that option. When you hover on a specific image, it provides you the color palettes that are being used on that image. And you can just click on reshuffle and then you have the download button as well. And that's basically it. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.